Hey there. Today, I'll show you how to use Plural Kit. It's a bot designed for people with DID and OSDD disorders, commonly known as systems, caused by trauma. Just a heads up, Plural Kit is not for role playing, it's meant to assist systems. Let's dive in and see how it can help you out. Just create a separate channel for Plural Kit bot. Make sure that only systems can view this channel. We don't want other members to see it. For that, go to channel settings, click role, click everyone or verify role and disable view channel perm. Next step. Head over to your server settings, click on roles and create a brand new role called system. But remember, this role is exclusively for people with DID and OSDD disorders. Don't hand it out to anyone who's not a system or claims to be an endogenic system. Why the caution? Well, it's because most systems believe that trauma is a prerequisite for being a system, and endogenic systems are those that form without trauma. So, let's keep things in check and make sure this role goes to the right folks. Happy configuring. Now, go to Plural Kit Channel, click Roles and select System Role here, in this role you have to give all the permissions that I am giving to them. Just follow me. While we are at it, I will tell you what a system is, DID and OSDD is a disorder where multiple people share one body. They are called alters, each alter is their own person. This disorder is caused due to childhood trauma. If you see someone with a bot tag next to their name they are not a bot but an alter. Hope this info helps you. If you have any question, feel free to ask me in the comments section anytime. Back to the topic, hope you are following me. Once everything is done, simply click Save Changes. Now, we will add Pluralkit Bot. You can add that bot to your server from Pluralkit Bot's official website which will be in the description or just join my server. We also have that bot here. If you don't know what a Pluralkit Bot is, it's a bot used by people with DID and OSDD to show you what alter is chatting with you. Now, all you need to do is, go to your server settings, click roles and drag plural kit bot above all the verified member roles. Also make sure, the bot has admin perm. Don't worry, it's totally safe. This step is done because I don't want you guys to go to every channel and change the bot settings separately. That's gonna be a very tiring job. I will repeat it again that, Give admin perm to plural kit bot. Now that the basics are out of the way, let's dive into setting up the bot. And, don't worry about the video being too long, I'll be adding time codes for every step, so it won't waste too much of your time. Use this command if you need help with commands. We will start by creating a new system account. I guess that's what the systems call it. All the commands will also be in my video's description, so all you need to do is just copy paste them. By the way, if you don't know what PK, S is, PK is basically plural kit, and S is a shorthand way of saying system, now back to the topic, using this command, you can rename your system. Using this command, you can change the icon of your system. Icon is basically the avatar of your system. Now let's add a cute banner. Use this command for it. I will tell you some fun facts about systems so you don't get too bored. Some systems have unique names for their group of alters, such as the crew, the squad, or the collective. But the collective is a very common name. Time to add a cute color. This command works on hex color code. If you don't know how to get the hex color codes then, don't worry, I will show you. I have shown this trick multiple times in my previous videos. Just follow me. Nah, this color doesn't suit my system profile so, 
I will add a different code by using the same trick. If you chose the wrong color as I did then, you can follow me. Second fun fact, there are online communities where systems can connect and support each other, sharing experiences and advice in a safe and understanding environment. And if art therapy can be a powerful tool for systems to express themselves and communicate, allowing for a creative outlet and better understanding of each alter's emotions. On to the next step, if you don't know what a system tag is, it could be a word, emoji, or any symbol that represents a system. So please make sure to pick your system tag carefully. I mean, if you made any mistakes, you can change it too, so it's not a big deal. Now, in this command, you can keep different system tags in different servers that you are in. Let's keep a pronoun using this command. But please be mindful that, this pronoun will be a collective pronoun and not a single member or alter pronoun. Here, you can keep a cool description for your system. If you want a layout, just join my server, we will help you with a cool system description layout. If you want to see the whole thing, just use this command. There we go, it works. Don't you think that looks pretty? If you want to use this layout, you can use it. Everything we did so far was for system, now we will do the same for alters or the members that reside in the headspace of a system. Right now, we have created a new profile for an alter named Matilda. Also know that this is just an example, Matilda is actually my server staff member and not an alter, in fact, I am a singlet. To people who don't know what a singlet is, they are people who don't have DID and OSDD. You can also keep a different display name for that alter just as I did. Or, if you screwed up, you can even rename that alter. So far, I hope you don't feel that it's too complicated to use. I mean I'm trying my best by oversimplifying this so the new systems can start using plural kit. This command will change the avatar of that alter. The commands was very similar to the system command, just a little bit different. There we go, it worked. Let's add a color. Just follow the same steps we did when we were adding a color for the system profile. One thing I want to remind you all is that I'm not very proficient in using this bot, I only learned how to use it around 2 days ago. So, what I'm doing right now is showing the basics, and I know there could be some mistakes, so, just bear with me. Hope, this is not too complex for you guys. We are literally following the same steps as we did before while creating a profile for system. I mean adding, name, color, profile photo and now it's the same with pronoun too. Here it's a bit different, if your alter has a birth date, you can add that too. When you are copy pasting the commands, make sure to replace the word, name, with your alter name in the command. If you messed up something you can use this command. All you have to do is add clear and it will delete it, so you do it again. Fun fact about alters, alters within a system can communicate internally, which is known as internal cooperation or co-consciousness. Some systems have more open communication, while others have limited awareness of each other. There we go, it worked. Now, I am adding a few more alters. I mean, they are my server staff members, but I am using their names to show you something cool. Either way, this way you can add multiple alters. Each alter in a system can have its own name, age, gender, voice, and even personal preferences. They may also have different skills and talents. There we go, we have added around 5 alters. I also showed you how to design their alter profile in plural kit. You can pretty much just ask your alters to create and design their own profile. Now, I will show you how to make a proxy. There are multiple ways of doing it. I used em text in the command because m stands for Matilda, so it's easy to remember. You can use any letter you want, or you can even use an emoji.
Using m slash text is another way of writing proxy. Another fun fact about the altar is, in some systems, alters can speak different languages fluently, even if the host, the primary identity, does not. Alters may have hobbies or interests that differ from the host. One alter might love painting, while another enjoys playing musical instruments. Each alter may have their own sense of style when it comes to clothing, ranging from casual to elegant or even cosplay outfits. Plus, you will be shocked to know, interestingly, some alters in a system can have allergies or medical conditions that the other alters do not share. This way, you can set a different proxy for every member. Now, I will show you how to use the proxy when you are texting. It is super easy, just follow me. There we go, it worked. Don't you think that's super easy? Now, chatting like this could be boring. I will show you a better way where you don't have to use these little codes to chat every time. I will use something called auto proxy, which will convert you text automatically into a bot. Use this command with me. There we go. Now, whatever you type will get converted into a bot thingy. With this command, you don't even have to use codes which is super cool. I guess, this command can save a lot of time too. Now, we will switch the member. I will show you how to do it. Back to our fun facts, the term host typically refers to the primary identity that interacts with the outside world most often. The term core is used to describe the central identity that holds most of the traumatic memories and experiences. See, this also worked. If you want to turn off auto proxy then use this command. All the commands will be categorically added in the video's description. Now, I will show you how to use the switching commands here. People who don't know what switching is. It is when one alter, or personality, takes control, while the other goes to the background. It's like changing who's in charge of the person's thoughts and actions. This is how you log switches. You can also log switches from multiple headmates if there are co-fronters. Fun fact about switching, some systems have specific songs or playlists that they use to help facilitate switching between alters. Music can be a powerful trigger for emotional states and alter fronting. This is how you view the front history. This is how to add subsystems, they're called groups. This is how you add members into the group.
This is how to remove members. Here's how you view your privacy settings. If you would like to locate information about a specific alter, this is the easiest way to do it. And, if you want to delete your entire system from Pluralkit. This is it. You will find all the commands in the video's description, just copy paste it. If you wondered where I get all the cool decors and layouts from in my videos, just join my server. Here you will find many decors and layouts. If we don't have the one you are looking for then you can just make a request, we will get it for you. I would also like to mention that, we are not just a decor and layout server. We are also a system server. Here, you will find many DID and OSDD systems. We have many different channels that make them feel comfortable. Not just that, we also have channels for regressors. In the end, it doesn't matter if you are a system or not, you can join us and make new friends. Anyway, I hope you liked this video. I tried doing something different since nobody made a detailed video on Pluralkit. Also, I want to let everyone know that this bot is exclusively for systems, so please don't use it for roleplay. If you're looking for a bot for roleplay, I can recommend Tupperbox, which is specifically made for that purpose. That being said, if you like my video, hit like and subscribe button. Until then, take care.